And a study by researchers at Indiana University shows Twitch chat varies uh, in female streamers versus male streamers. So you can look at some of the words that are associated with female streamers and that are popular and male streamers. <laughs> Do women have it easier on Twitch? I feel like the perception on Twitch and the thing I hear over and over again is that it is far easier to be a woman on Twitch than it is to be a man. I have heard this so many times from so many people and it seems like the perception is that it's much easier to, to be female than it is to be male. So uh, the breakdown is like people see women getting a lot of money on Twitch and getting these big donations and having these big viewer counts. And their perception is that they, that all this money is because they're women and all this like viewer count is because they're women. And it, it's this enormous, um, it's this enormous misconception that, that women have it easier on Twitch when in fact, by every single metric they don't. So we're going to break that down and uh, I'm going to try to explain through, through a couple of studies and then also just like uh, give you a, a couple of examples like why this is not the case. And in fact, the women actually have it much more difficult on Twitch by every metric. Uh, it, it, and we're going to break that down why that is. So um, here's, a, here's a couple of things. So we, we, we've heard the phrase, girls have it easier on Twitch uh, just for having breasts because they already have more visits. People prefer to watch girls streaming. Are these statements true? So if you analyze the top 500 streamers with more hours watched in August, only 16 women are part of the list. Only 3.2% of those hours are made up uh, in watched female channels. Um, go into August that time there's 14 women. So 2.8%, um, Dr. Disrespect holding the top there. And, um, if you go, uh, to August with the channels that have more total followers, there are more women, but still 53 out of 500 channels with syndicate being the first, uh, the first woman that actually appears that has, uh, the top followers is legendary Leia ranked 52 with 620,000. Um, among these 53 channels, there are women who show more or less skin, but it's true that there are some that focus their broadcasts on their body, but every streamer is free to do what they want as long as they follow Twitch's guidelines. Blaming female streamers for having more followers only because they are girls, like blaming Boohole because PUBG streams had 40% of hours watched on Twitch. People watch what they want to watch. So this, uh, so, so basically, um, and we'll get into like the, the rest of this, because this just gets worse. But um, you might be thinking, okay, uh, the immediate argument to this would be, okay, well, aren't there more males on the website? Right, like, like, okay, at top five of the streamers, only sixty women. Aren't there more males on the website overall? Well, like that are streaming. Well, well, yes, but that in and of itself begets a market problem, right? If there are more men on the website and more men are succeeding, it's not because women just aren't there. It's because women don't succeed as much. Do you see? Do you see the difference? It's because if you have more men streaming and more men succeeding, um, it, it may be the case that less women are interested in broadcasting. But the women that are interested in broadcasting, when, when, when that's controlled for, are, are worse off. Okay, but this gets worse. So if we, if we go down to, like, so just by, just by pure growth metrics, and we'll get into that in, the, in a second study, um, women have a, a lot of trouble. But it gets worse because when you Google things like girls on Twitch or females on Twitch, okay, you immediately get the hottest female streamers on Twitch, the hottest Twitch girls, um, images or, or Twitch girls doing stuff. And a study by researchers at Indiana University shows Twitch chat varies uh, in female streamers versus male streamers. So you can look at some of the words that are associated with female streamers and that are popular and male streamers, the top being a uh, kitty, bitch, boobs, tits, show, cosplay, and then the top of the male being Frank or Z. So not only is it more difficult to be a woman on Twitch, it's also just more obnoxious, <laughs> which, which I have talked about a lot that in the context of gaming overall, um, one of the big reasons I think we don't see a lot of women on platforms like ours is be, and, 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 in, and in games is because it's just terrible to be one. It's just so it's so obnoxious to get accosted by men all of the time um, and, and and be cons constantly objectified. It just drive you crazy. It may not seem like a big deal when you you are a man and you've, you've just never been exposed to it. But day after day after day of this stuff happening, if you've ever played games with girls and, and, and been on voice comms, it's, it's just completely obnoxious. And it's like there's only so many so many times that you want to be running a, a stream where like your thinking is, oh, I want to create a great stream and have a nice community of people. And then you just get, you get these comments where it, over and over again. I mean, it literally becomes just insurmountable. It's, it's incredibly obnoxious. So anyway, conclusions here, like with this and the data showed before, it's not easier for women, it's harder. Audience doesn't value their charisma, gaming skills or broadcast child. Uh, what people, presumably males, value more is their physical appearance, even if the stream doesn't want to focus attention on their body. 
Okay, but let's um, let's look at some more uh, studies that are a little bit different, maybe a little bit better in number. So, uh, is it easier to be a woman on Twitch? Um, myth, women are taking over Twitch. The highest percentage we found, grouping a random group of 2,500 streamers who are above 15 concurrent viewers, was still less than 20%. So 20% of those streamers are women. Women are taking over the top of Twitch. Inside the top 500 most followed channels, less than 10% are women. right? And this is aggregate overall. Women get more viewers. On average, a woman's concurrent viewership count is much lower. So if you take all of the men, the top 2,500 men channels and the top 2,500 women's channels. So this is the first study we've seen that's actually controlled for the amount of men on the website versus the amount of women on the website, right? Um, as far as the top 2,500 of both channels, this is probably the most damning evidence right here. 1,492 on the top 500 male channels is the, is the top viewer count. Uh, 394 on the top 2,500 women channels. So, so the, the concurrent viewership count is much, much lower. 394 is like full-time income-ish if you monetize well on, on Twitch. And that's the average concurrent viewership. Uh, men and women stream the same amount of hours. Uh, regardless, men stream the average of four to five times more hours than women. Now, this is the only stat, I think, that uh, indicates, that, that, that justifies success for males on the platform beyond, um, li like, this is also, I think, a stat uh, I, I don't want to, I'm not as informed on this subject because this is like out of my field of expertise, but I understand men work more hours as well in, um, in like, uh, at least in America. And, and, and so this would probably explain like the, obviously the more hours you put into streaming, typically the more viewership you get, the more discovery you get and things like that. That could, that, that could account for some of why men are more successful than women on the site, but absolutely not a disparity like this. This is like, this is like crazy. Uh, women get more page views and followers. So this is somewhat true. At first glance, you would see that men get dramatically more page views and followers. But if you decided to focus on per streaming hour instead of overall, the numbers get more even. We decided to focus on growth. How are you doing versus your past self? And looking at comparing those percentages with those adjustments, women get almost double the page views and triple the followers versus the average male streamer. But here's what's interesting. They get double the page views and triple the followers, but that doesn't reflect in their concurrent viewership their bounce rate is much higher. So effectively, that doesn't seem to be, um, that doesn't seem to matter, right? Like you can have all the follows in the world. If you're not getting concurrent viewers that engage with your stream, it doesn't matter. Women are growing faster than men on Twitch, also false, right? Concurrent viewer growth is where streamers struggle the most, regardless on which segment we examined. An average man grows concurrent viewers 10 times easier than women. In the top 2,500 male streamers, 20 average concurrent viewers gained in the last 60 days versus two with females. So again, even though they get double the page views and double uh, the followers, the actual, the, it doesn't reflect in the concurrence, which is all that matters. Because if you don't have the concurrent viewers, you're not getting discovered. If you don't have the concurrent viewers, you're not getting engagement. If you don't have the engagement, you're not getting monetized. Don't make any money. So the, like, I think that all of the sort of like stigma or, or, or the, I'd say the, the perception uh, around, around women gets they get more page views and follows. It comes from this perception. It's like, okay, they get a ton of views and they get a ton of follows. Well, sure, but those views and, and follows don't amount to anything. So what does it matter, right? Like as, as far as like concurrent viewers, it doesn't actually matter. Even the streamers that are really successful on the platform that are women that uh, oftentimes get, uh, basically just get, uh, everybody <laughs> everybody says that they are, are just successful because of their looks and whatever. These streamers actually, when you look into their stats, and my favorite ones to use is Amarath. Um, a lot of people are like, "Wow, uh, Amarath is a um, Amarath is like a I don't know, um, like booby streamer or whatever." Amarath works really hard. In the last thirty days, she had three hundred and fifteen hours streamed. Okay, three hundred and fifteen hours streamed is ten point five hours a day of streaming. Most of that is highly engaging, super physical, and direct chat interaction. And, um, and uh, if you look at her overview of, of, the, of the stuff that she does and the, game sh and, the, and the game she plays and the way that she does it, and also her channel, she has tons of calls to action. She has, she has, um, she has Instagram, which she updates regularly, YouTube, which she up updates regularly. She's doing all the things that a good influencer should do to grow their brand and gets none of the credit because she's supposedly, like a, she's, she's supposedly selling sex or whatever. Okay, um, so even when you look at broadcasters who should be championed for being successful on the platform because they actually put in the work, they're objectified as being women that sell sex and that's why they're successful. It sucks. It just, it, like, it, 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 if, I, if you take one thing away from this, you should take away, it actually sucks to be a woman on this platform. 
Like, like as, as, as ridiculous as this stuff is, this, this blows. I would never want to stream and just constantly have people talk about my body when like, if I wanted to do something like this, where it's like what I do on this, on this channel, right? Which is like, I, I talk about things that are going on on Twitch and I do gaming and meta and stuff like that and self-improvement content. Like I, I would never, I would never, I would, and I would like show up with, under the auspice of that. And I would be like, okay guys, like let's talk about uh, E3 and let's do a recap. And everyone's like, LOL, like, oh, you're so hot. Like, like that would be, that would drive me crazy. I'd be like, what the, guys, I'm like, I want to talk about what gaming, you know? And like, it would never, it would, it would never be able to come to pass. And I would probably like leave the platform too because I would just like go crazy doing that. And that's the stuff that women deal with every single day on this platform. So I don't know how to solve this problem. I guess like my my purpose in this talk is um, just bringing attention to it. But I, I like, hopefully this is like a reference point for people that think that it's like much easier to be a woman on Twitch, that it gives you like some pause and realize that like it's actually like pretty difficult to be a woman on Twitch. Even if you just ignore all of the data points, and you just go to the fact that it's so difficult for women to escape that box of, of um, sexuality that they're, they're automatically assigned by a predominantly male audience on Twitch TV. And again, I don't have many solutions to this problem besides like bringing up awareness. It's just a, it's just a pretty bad situation overall. And, and, and I don't think we're going to be able to see more women on the platform which is objectively a good thing. It's just like more women on the platform is great by any metric. Getting more women on the platform doesn't happen until we bring awareness to these issues and we find some way to fix it. So that's women on Twitch. If this is a YouTube video, thank you very much. We're at 11,000 subs. That is awesome. Um, help us get to 12. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you guys again next time. Please do subscribe. Thank you so much.